All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it's definitely hoodie season. It's getting cold out if you saw I was using the heated seats and the steering wheel. It's getting pretty cold out in the mornings here in Amarillo. So actually today, if you don't know already, I have Oxbeam headlight bulbs in my truck and uh, they work really awesome. I did a whole video on them. They're really inexpensive. They're only like $50. And I think I've had them for like four or five months now and they work awesome. So Oxbeam was kind enough to send me some bulbs for the reverse lights and then some bulbs for the interior. I may not get to the interior ones today, but I'm definitely gonna install the reverse bulbs because I'm going to finally install some of the badges that I've received. So we're gonna put black Ram badges on the truck today on the front and the rear. And I also, now this might not look good, I haven't decided, but I also got the badges that come on the lower model of Ram 2500 where they just, they say Ram 2500 in black and they say heavy duty underneath because I could not find a Longhorn badge still that's in black. So I'm going to try these out and uh, they come on lower models when you get the black badge kit, but I think it looks better because they're black. So it just says Ram 2500 in pretty big letters and then it says heavy duty underneath. So we're going to put those on today also and see how those look, see if I like them. But let's jump right into the video. We're going to install some ox beam bulbs and then we're going to install some black badges today. So we're going to replace this Ram badge with a black one. So in order to do that, we're going to need to remove these star bolts. And then in order to install the reverse bulbs, we're going to take out the taillight housing, which is these star bolts also. So we're going to run to the back and grab some tools. So this is the rear badge. I ordered this actually straight from Mopar. Uh, I'm sure there's some other brands, but I ended up going with the Mopar one because they make them in black, so I figured the quality's pretty good. So we're just gonna switch these out. And actually, you don't have to take off this back. It's just a little easier to push the badge through from the inside. But as you can see, it's just uh, these two little push clips that kind of sit in the holes and it's just double-sided tape. So really just gotta pry the old badge off and then you can push the new one right in. So there it is guys, pretty simple, just presses on. It's got pretty strong double side tape. So you definitely don't have to take this out. Like I said, it was just easier to push the old badge from the inside, but you can just use like a plastic spatula or something like that to pry that off. But uh, yeah, the black already looks so much better. So uh, just continue to get rid of the black or get rid of the chrome, sorry, and replace it with black badges. And so this one, I still need to order the four by four or I'm just gonna take it off, I haven't decided yet. So let's take these taillight housings off and replace those bulbs so we can have LED reverse bulbs. All right, so here is your stock reverse bulb and this is what the Oxbeam one looks like. So we'll plug this side in and then we'll compare it to the stock side. So it's during the day, but you can see how bright it is compared to the stock. Let's see how yellow it is. We've got the nice bright white LED there. So these are super easy to install. You just take the little star bolt here T25, loosen the two screws, take the tail light off, and these are literally just plug and play. These are super nice. So if you have a Ram 2500, this is 2017, these are the 7440, and they're in white. So you can see, you can choose red or orange, amber, sorry. But uh, they just come in these nice little packages, and uh, they're definitely worth it for the price. They're really inexpensive, and they're really bright. All right, so now we're gonna replace the front badge with this black one. Same thing, ordered this from Mopar. And uh, for being an OEM product, the price isn't bad at all. So we're gonna open the hood and we're gonna see how we need to replace this one. Wow, my engine bay is dirty. Look at that little baby turbo down there. I think it needs a bigger one. But uh, so this badge just snaps in actually. So you can see it down here, it snaps in. So we just need to push the clips out and then simply push that and one it's out. It's just got these little clips on the back side. So that's the stock one, that one's out. So now we'll just peel this back. And it should, there's a little piece of double side tape just to give it a little support in the middle. So I just simply push it in there, make sure the clips all clip in, here we go. And that's pretty much it. That looks a lot better in my opinion. Obviously I want to get rid of all this chrome, but this is kind of the first step to it. So here's the stock one. And then there's the blacked out Ram badge, which 
Looks really good in my opinion. Right, so there's the Ram 2500 badge installed. So I think it looks better than the Longhorn. Obviously this badge is from the lower model, but I couldn't find the Longhorn badge blacked out like I said. So I think that looks a lot better. My truck is dirty as shit. So there's the front black badge. Need to do something with the grill. Side badge, black. And I did keep this Longhorn one. I did wrap it in black material. It doesn't look too bad actually. And then we got this Ram badge in black. And we need to get this 4x4 badge in black, which I may order tonight because that would be the last badge I would need. But I definitely think these side badges look real good with the black handles. All right, here is the other side installed. Now I will say the bad thing about these badges is that you don't have any lines to go off of. So you've got to tape them up, do some measurements. But uh, so we've got the side black, like I said, the front one, the rear. But I think they look a lot better, especially with the black handles. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little install. I do have some fog light bulbs coming from Oxbeam. So when those get in, I'll make a separate video on those. And then I do need to do the interior lights as well but the reverse lights make a huge difference and I absolutely love my headlights. I've had them, like I said, I think for like four or five months now and uh, they still look really good. Haven't had any issues with them and they think they were only about $50 on Amazon. So pretty good deal for some LED light bulbs that last pretty long. Um, hopefully you guys like the black badges. Let me know your thoughts on them. I know this is a Longhorn and I took the Longhorn badges off, but I just really don't like the Longhorn style badges. Um, it's like if I had a Ford and I had the King Ranch, I'm just not a fan of that style, but I really do like the interior on this. However, I just don't like the little accents like the badges. So, and I couldn't find them in black. So I switched them out. Let me know what you guys think below. I definitely need to switch out the grill and then do something with the bumpers. Uh, either paint match them, do them in black, or do totally different bumpers. So let me know your guys' thoughts below. So right now, I'm actually headed to the E85 station to get some E85 for this weekend for the Hellcat. We are supposed to head to Noble, Oklahoma to uh, go race at Thunder Valley, their racetrack over there. It's supposed to be myself, Joseph, Jeff, and uh, Kevin still on the fence if he's going or not. So as long as the weather holds, which here it looks kind of cloudy right now, and it's actually supposed to rain today and tomorrow here, and I think actually in Noble also, but on Friday, the weather's actually supposed to be pretty decent. Uh, the DA is not going to get super low. However, for us, it's pretty low. They'll be in like the 2,500 to 3,000 range. It's just not that cold yet for them to get like 1,000 or below 1,000 DA. So, but it'll definitely be a big difference for us. And uh, we'll get to see how that track hooks up. Now, if you remember, I've made a trip here before and had some issues with my car throwing some codes and I decided to throw it back on the trailer after that whole trailer fiasco and uh, load the car up and didn't actually run in Oklahoma. So it'd be cool to actually run my car there as long as everything goes as planned this time. So right now I'm headed to pick up some E85. I've already started cleaning out our own trailer and packing it up. This time I'm taking the CA trailer and I know my car fits in there perfectly with uh, some race ramps that I'm gonna borrow from Brad. So. As long as everything goes as planned and the weather holds, we are headed to Noble, Oklahoma Friday night. So if anyone's in the area and wants to come out, make sure you guys come out. Um, my car definitely, even if it goes as fast as it did here, I'll get kicked off for running a nine in the quarter mile since I did a nine seven here. I would assume I could do that and faster there. Obviously we'll see how the track is and how the car is doing on Friday night. But what the plan is is to do some eighth mile runs and just shut off at the eighth mile that way i can figure out where i can launch the car at for the 60 foot to hook up best and then i'll kind of make my home run run if you will uh taking a chance at the quarter mile and see how fast i can get the car now the only thing that sucks is once i run that nine and they kick me off i'm not going to get another chance so i'm hopefully going to have everything figured out for that run and uh, either way it's still fun uh, but I am traveling, you know, four or four and a half hours just to run once down the quarter mile. So we'll do a couple eighth mile runs, shut down at the eighth mile, and then we'll kind of make our home run for that quarter mile run at the end and uh, see how low we can get the car. So it should be a fun night of racing. And actually, if you have a Mopar, it's free on Friday night. Can't beat that. So hopefully Kevin's going to go with us. Uh, he's not sure if he's going to be able to have time to go with us because there's a four and a half hour drive and uh, you get home really late Saturday morning, just like we did last time. And uh, he's got clients pretty early on Saturday morning, and so do I. 
He just has a few more than I do, so he needs a little more rest than me. Um, so we'll see if he actually goes, but either way, it's gonna be a fun night of racing as long as the weather holds. So I'm really looking forward to it. So we're gonna go get some E85 and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Hopefully you guys liked that I finally did something to the Ram because everyone keeps commenting. We'll see you guys on the next video.